And it's never too late to be crowned, especially in Starkville, as the high school wraps up homecoming after a couple of delays to their schedule. WTVA's Rhea Thornton is in Starkville, where she spoke with those at the royal event. It's kind of tough to tell, but I'm outside Starkville High School's football field, where after two weeks of canceled football games, the Yellow Jackets finally celebrated its homecoming tonight. Starkville High School hosted its first Jacket Nation Unites event tonight, allowing recognition to Yellow Jacket sports teams, a pep rally, and crowning of the homecoming king and queen. Dr. Savage is the principal at Starkville High School. He said before taking over as principal this year, he Zoomed with students and parents before the school year began. The one thing that the seniors told me on the Zoom calls this summer is, as their principal, they wanted me to try to get uh, restore as much normalcy as I could. And it doesn't get any more normal than a king and queen of homecoming. All the changes to this year's homecoming have come with a price. Kate Dickerson is a senior and student body president at SHS. She said, although the changes have been difficult, she's just glad to have something to celebrate. We know that like it was something that had to be done, and it was for the best for the school and the students. Um, but it was really disappointing. But we are glad that we're still getting to do this, and the girls are still going to get their moment to walk on the field. Savage said, as principal, he will continue bringing normalcy to a student's school year. The initial disappointment of of, of some things uh, is always going to be tough as a principal. But as a leader, you have to let your your students know that we're going to do all everything in our power. To, to try to restore normalcy to our to our school and to our a special events for our kids. Now the Starkville football team is set to play Clinton this week, and Principal Savage said that it's a kill or be killed game, meaning that whoever wins goes on to play in the playoffs. So this is a big road game for the Yellow Jackets on Friday, and he hoped that this pep rally gave them the pep they needed to bring the sting on Friday night. Reporting live in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTVA 9 News.